Now, from the makers of Cold Water Omo, John Steed had decided to take a look at the Terpsichorean Training Techniques Establishment. Mrs. Beale, who was working there, had told him all about it, but he wanted to inspect it himself. Lucille Banks made him welcome. So you wish to learn to dance, Mr. Steed? Well, it's brushing up more than anything. Once upon a time, I swung a rather elegant shoe, but I'm fearfully rusty now. If you will forgive me, Mr. Steed, isn't your motive for coming here deeper than that? Steed shot her a keen look. You say you have no family and few friends. You come here hoping to make friends. You are a lonely man? Oh, certainly. I don't have a friend in the world. Then let me set your mind at rest. Many of my clients are in the same boat, and I'd like to feel that my little establishment offers them some solace. A chance to mix and make new acquaintances. I trust you will be happy joining our little group. Excuse me, I'll go and make the necessary arrangements for your tuition. The Avengers. And Emma Peel, The Avengers. So many housewives have discovered that the cleaning power of cold water Omo gives them sparkling clean results. Mrs. Joyce Whelan of East London has this to say. I've tried it. And it works. Beautifully. I've tried it on my children's clothes, on the general wash, and I noticed straight away that things were cleaner. Since mm -hmm. then, I, I will have used nothing else but cold water. Once an Omo user, always an Omo user. Omo cleans best. All ice cream presents the new pink pussycat song. Episode 5 of this story, in which John Steed takes private tuition in and Mrs. Peel begins to guess what lies behind. The quick, quick, slow death. Privately, both John Steed and Emma Peel confessed that they had seldom worked upon a case that had so many clues. Most of the clues were so bewildering that they did nothing to clarify matters. In fact, it was all becoming a little too complex. How were the four establishments, Toby Tintry's Tattoo Shop, Lichen & Co's Dress Hire, Piedi's Shoemakers, and Terpsichorean Training Techniques linked together? Steve admitted that he didn't know. All he did know was that clothes and shoes made at two of the places ended up at the dance studio. That was why he and Mrs. Peel ended up there too. Yeah, Mrs. Peel, here's some valuable evidence. Now, I didn't take read the message and destroy it. Destroy it? Eat it. Oh, there you are, Mrs. Peel. Oh, coming, dear lady, coming. I have decided to undertake your tuition myself. Personally. Oh, really? Come along this way. Lucille swept Steed away towards the ballroom, leaving Mrs. Peel clutching the parcel Steed handed to her. Mrs. Peel read the message tattooed by Toby Tintry in his dying moments. The killer has a rose tattoo on the right wrist. Tattooed on a garlic sausage. The only thing I loathe is garlic sausage. Oh, well. <laughs> The seal put on a record. They danced. I'm surprised you're still a bachelor, Mr. Steed. Oh, uh, you are a bachelor. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, there was a girl once, uh, but the rest of the act is no more. He married? Uh, no, he's uh, passed away tragically. Oh, on your travels, the Amazon, a crocodile. Twenty-one bus outside King's Cross, actually. Oh. 
Captain says, well, I've always been single and gone by taxi. Oh, come, Mr. Steve, there must be someone in this big city that you know. No, I, I'm afraid not. I, I told you, I, I haven't been back all that long. All my friends have moved away and I have their family. Oh, why, you poor, poor man. Why, you just think if you disappeared tomorrow, no one would know. Or care. What the hell? Got the message yet, Steve? <laughs> Mrs. Beale had successfully disposed of the garlic sausage without eating it, but making sure the message was destroyed. On her return from the ladies' cloakroom, she banged into Bernard, a shop assistant at Piedis, where Mrs. Peale had been fitted by plaster cast for some special shoes. Bernard approached at speed. Oh! Uh, sorry. Uh, hey, where's Mickey? Oh, not here at the moment. I'll fetch her for you. Oh, no, uh, just see that she gets this, will you? This parcel. Bernard handed over a large parcel. Hey, uh, haven't I seen you somewhere before? No, I don't think so. You want this to go to Nicky? Ah, uh, that's right. And no one else. That's important. Uh, thanks. I could have sworn I'd seen you somewhere before. Mrs. Peel watched him go, looked down at the parcel, shook it, and then tore away a piece of the brown paper wrapping. Hey, is that Bernard? Hey, Emma, please, you can't open that. Not in here. Oh, this you would blow a top. <laughs> it's all right. It isn't a bomb. Only shoes. Shoes? Yeah. I suppose Bernard told you about our little arrangement. No. Oh, well. It's all quite simple, really. I suppose this means that we'll have to cut you in for a third. A third of what? What arrangement? Well, Bernard works for Piedi the Shoemaker, and Piedi sells all our pupils their first pair of dancing pumps. Well, but only the first pair, you see. After that, Bernard supplies them on the side. Cuts out Piedi, cuts out the middleman. See? Pupils get cheaper shoes, Bernard makes his profit, and there's something in it for me. Everyone's happy, nobody suffers. <laughs> well, isn't it a bit risky for you? I mean, approaching pupils right now. Oh, Bernard attends to that. He waits outside after school, buttonholes them then. I see. So one way or another, Bernard meets all the pupils sooner or later. Yeah, that's right. Including Mr. Peaver? Of course, everyone. Now, we really must be getting back. The two girls moved off, not noticing a locker that had been open all the time. Inside sat Chester Reed, the band leader. He had a bottle and a glass with him. He wasn't exactly sober. <laughs> <laughs> the things one hears in locker rooms. <laughs> Funniest things. I must remember to tell the you. The funniest things one hears in locker rooms. In the main ballroom, the seed had finished his first lesson with Lucille. He'd done really rather well. He paused near Peaver on the side of the room where Peaver was lacing a shoe. Steve suddenly bent down and whipped Peaver's sleeve high on his arm. Hey, 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 what's oh, here? Uh, <laughs> just checking on the time. Your wrist was... Yeah, I wear it on the other wrist. Here, it, it's a minute past, actually. Oh, well, thanks so much. So that's the time, is it? Oh, well, dancing does make the hours spin away, doesn't it? Uh, thank you. Steve moved off and found Mrs. Peel. Peel, before you go to your dance yet again... What is it, Steve? Peaver, over there, he's an imposter. No tattoo lovingly inscribed to Lucille. Trouble is that the tattooist, our only witness, is dead. Hmm. There may be another. The shoe shop man named Bernard. He may be able to help. I've got it down to Peter's to see. Now then, now, please assemble. Come along now. Oh, Miss Banks, I'm terribly sorry. I'm having trouble with my shoe. I'm afraid the heel's a bit loose and likely to break off any minute. I wonder if I might pop out and get it seen to. Yes, yes, get it attended to right away. And please hurry back. Now, come along, everyone, come along. We have a lot of dancing to do. Mrs. Peel beat a hasty retreat. <laughs> Back in Piedi's shoe shop, Bernard was making up for lost time. In the workshop, he was preparing a bowl of plaster, mixing it thoroughly. He was so engrossed in the work that he didn't hear either Braceful enter. Braceful tapped him on the shoulder. Uh, Bernard? <laughs> what the... Braceful, what do you want? This. <laughs> Braceful laid him out with one blow, and then carefully arranged him at the workbench thrusting his head deeply into the bowl of plaster. He was still there, with the plaster hardened, when Mrs. Peel found him dead. Hmm. Poor old Bernard. Really plastered this time. Back in the 
back in the dance salon, Mrs. Peel managed to whisper the truth to John Steed. He's dead, all right. So, we have lost another witness and found another victim. So now we have to go... Back to square one. To the heart of the matter. Peter is an imposter, and this dancing school is conniving to the deception. So... Carry on dancing, eh? Oh, well. Oh, there you are, Emma. Give me home of these posters. Yes, sure. What are they? Gala night. Tomorrow night. Happens once a fortnight. Dance to Chester Reeve and his band. Backed up with a lot of crummy records down the screen. A couple of current buns, half a glass of lemonade, and they all go into an ecstasy of rhythm. <laughs> Is this when the advanced students receive their diploma? Yeah. Only one this time. Mr. Peaver. Nicky, mm? since you've been here, have you noticed anything, uh, well, any changes in Mr. Peaver? Hardly. But then I wouldn't. He's more Lucille's client than mine. I remember when he first enrolled. She really kept him to herself. Does she often do that? Once in a while. Nearly always, there's a mousy, anonymous creature. She keeps them under wraps. It's sometimes three or four weeks before I'm allowed to see them. Right, come along, girls. I think we finished for the day. Oh, I can't wait to get home and fill that football. Goodbye, oh, everyone. Don't forget your next lesson. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Speed. You're going to be our star pupil. You'll be here tomorrow on time. Oh, you couldn't keep me away. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ah, I thought. Did all go well? Easy. No trouble at all. Good. The boss will be pleased. I'll tell him myself. You can also tell him about John Speed. What about him? He will be our next victim. Always knew you were too good for the chorus, Steed. like around the tiles. That's the sort of dirt that's hardest to shift if you don't have Vim 99. Only Vim has deep cleaning bleach to get right down into cracks and deep set stains, leaving everything really clean and germ-free. For total cleaners you can trust, use Vim. Vim 99, the strong one. They say once an OMA user, always an OMA user. Here's Mrs. Senior of Embogan Tween. I've stuck to cold water, Emma, and I'm still using it. It's the strongest washing powder I've used. There's no dirt or stains that can stand up to cold water Omo. The Avengers. Listen every evening, Monday to Friday, to John Seed and Emma Peel. The Avengers. Brought to you by the makers of Cold Water Omo. 